Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, yeah, since I reviewed an Alice Wonderland movie last time, I thought I might as well review another one. And this one, well, you know, I would like to go to the beach, relay thing, and instead of doing this, But instead, I'm doing an Alice in Wonderland movie review. What the hell? Another rabbit? What the hell? Well, you know what? Good thing I brought my gun. Gotta make sure. <sighs> okay, now that's out the way. Let's review an Alice Wonderland movie. And this one is called... This is, I'm gonna be talking about a live action... Another live action version of... Of, uh, of the book. And this one's called Alice Adventures in Wonderland. Well, in this version, live action version of Alice in Wonderland. Well, this one's called uh, Alice Adventures in Wonderland, which is actually the title of the book itself. And this is a colored version of the film, and you know it's it's pretty faithful to the um, book. You know, it starts off with um, with one one of the characters narrating, you know, what Alice is doing, and. It's short, you know, the, you know, she, she's she's on a rowboat, I seem like a small robot going down the stream, and then, and then she, you know, she, you know, she goes somewhere next to a tree, and you know, she just relaxes with the twin sister, and yeah, in the book she has a twin sister, so they'll put that in the movie, and yeah, like I said, there's so, well, there's someone she knows is narrating the scene, and you know. You know, sister on her up, just being really playful, and suddenly she sees this car flowing, um, blowing by, and she, um, and of course, this catches her attention, and she's gonna follow these cards, and you know, she, and she, of course, she's gonna follow these cards, and she's gonna, you know, she, out of curiosity, and these following these cards led her to this tree, these, the, the, these, um, the cards are getting sucked in this like tree hole which is of course the the rabbit hole and right there she sees the the right the white rabbit and yeah in this movie the white rabbit he's the, in this version of the film the white rabbit is he's a bit of a jerk in a way he's really bossy and um I mean he was like that in the book but I guess even this one they um they wanted to make it a little bit different and it was just fine and I mean, this one version, he's a, the white rabbit is a little uh, bossy, and but but anyway, I'm, I'm sidetracking here. But of course, you know, Alice, she's a you know she's a, she's she was always a curious child, and I mean she likes, I mean, she, does, she likes a lot. Of course, Alice is one of those characters 
the likes of, she's a child that likes to cause a mischief, of course. And, and, and they put that characteristic of her in the movie. But anyway, anyway. She, yeah, then the, this, this rabbit hole where the cars are getting sucked in. She, um, of course she's gonna follow it. And she tumbles down. And she, you know, she kind of, she tumbles down and she starts talking to herself, you know. And for that moment, she talks to herself, you know, she's, she found this very weird. And... Yeah, of course, you know, she goes down, she goes lower and lower and lower, wondering where she's going. She thinks she's going to the other side of the ward, where everybody else is upside down. And then, like, she finally lands in this, um, like, this room. And in this room, she sees a table. Of course, she sees something that says, drink me. And this, I don't know. And of course, and then, um, in the, in the hallway, yeah, she, she drinks something. And she becomes a giant. She becomes too big. And yeah, of course. And the, and she does see the white rat. Yeah, the white rabbit she saw in the first place. She the white rabbit is running through the hallway again. And th this this part of the movie, this part of the story was in the book. But yeah, they keep it faithful to the book. And uh, she she wants to know. She looks around and she sees a garden. She sees she looks she look, she looks through a door and sees a garden. Of course, and she wants to go. She, she wants to see that garden. That that little part was in the book as well. It, it was. It was in. It was not in the Disney version, but it it is here. But I don't spoil it too much, folks. You know, it it is. I thought this was a. I thought this was a pretty good movie. It's, I thought I was very. I thought it was very good. Like I mentioned before, this movie is Alice Adventures in Wonderland. It's actually pretty faithful to the book. I mean, there's some changes, of course, here and there. And I need to, nothing to complain about much, really. Though I do, I do wish that um, you know, in the book, Alice, the the character of Alice, she um. She talks to herself a lot. She thinks to herself a lot and gives herself a lot of advice a lot of time. And yeah, in the book version, she does that. Uh, I, you know, she's walking around. Um, in in the book, she's walking around talking, telling herself all that all alone. And I know, I know, I know some people might find that weird. You know, having a little girl talk to herself and telling her, tell her all that stuff to herself. Hey, it's Wonderland. It's supposed to be weird anyway. I kind of, I kind of wish they had that in there, but oh well. The, the music in here. This is this is um a musical of of the book version, and I don't mind it really. I thought it was well done. I like a lot of the music. A lot of the music in here was actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah the music yeah the music I, in here is actually really well done and well. Really, I'm pretty um. Yeah, it's well sung. It's my point. It's it's well sung, and the the singing is really nice, folks. The singing in here is really really nice. So yeah, you know the, they go they go to they were singing different stages of the film, 
and the stages are actually really nice to look at. Yeah, I did think I did think some of the pacing was a little slow. And some of the pacing of the film was was a little slow. But I mean it's not enough to ruin the film. But it might get some people but it is enough to be noticeable. Some of the pacing is a little mm, there's a little too slow. I mean maybe the speed up a few things could have been better. But oh well. I did like I did like the costume designs in here. I did like the costume designs. The makeup was actually pretty good. And, um, I mean, th this is a low budget film. This is this is this is actually a musical. It's a low budget musical film. And they could have done more with the special effects and makeup designs, but they already had a limited budget. And but yeah, the special effects are actually pretty good as well. That, I mean, for low budget. For a low budget musical, that special effects is actually pretty good. Yeah, I, I didn't like a lot of the stuff they did. A lot of the sets were actually really well done as well. Yeah, this live this live action version of Alice in Wonderland, to me, it, it's a lot better. Even this one is a lot better than than Tim Burton's bullshit version. And, ah, crap! I just brought up a shitty movie. What the? <laughs> Alright folks, joining me for a moment is of course the amazing Maddie. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Yeah, for, yeah for a moment, can you you know can you tell us how you what you thought um of this live action version of Alice in Wonderland? What did you think of um Alice's uh, Alice Adventures in Wonderland? Yeah, I did enjoy it. It did have a fantasy, adventurous feel to it, and the musicals were like, the musical, yeah, the music, uh, the musical scenes were actually really nice. And personally, uh, I thought this film was, I thought this version was a uh, was a was a million times better than the um, than Tim Burton's version. What do you think, and why? Oh yeah, I totally agree. Um, I really do like Tim Burton's version because I felt that he was trying to make it very, very, um, edgy, kind of serious. And something about it, I just did not relate to. You know, where uh, they made um, Alice come up more like she's more edgy and kind of like, you know, kind of like a goth kind of character yeah. in a way. And that was really Alice. Uh, very lively and you know very 
wondrous kind of person. And um, even though she may have had her, you know, time in the, in the past, I don't think she should have came out so, you know, you know, so gleamy the way they made her tell us. And I didn't like it. I actually did not like that now. She, she was actually annoying. Oh boy, she she sure was. And one of the plumbers with um Tim Burton's film is it, it the uh, Tim Burton's version of Alice in Wonderland. It feels too contrived. It feels way too damn contrived. It felt really pretentious, in my honest opinion. Yeah, it's just yeah, jeez. I mean, this film, this film is low budget. Yes, yet this one feels ha it feels ha it has more wonder towards it than Tim Burton's big budget version. <sighs> Shouldn't it be the other way around. The fuck. <sighs> Anywho. And well, at least it could have been it could have been wars. Rob Zombie could have remade it. I made it way too. Yeah, it could have been wars. Rob Zombie could have been could have remade it, and made it way too sexual. Oh no, you don't. All right. Anyway, yeah, yeah. To me. Yeah, Ram Zombie, he should, um, stop making movies. I mean, remaking movies, I mean. I mean, he's not that good of a director anyway. And, jeez. He, he probably would make, he, if he makes his own, and you know, his own animation, animated version of Alice or a live action one. Yeah, he probably may, would make it really sexual. And, yeah, I probably would tell Alice, Ugh. How does your teacher's tits feel like? It feels like a uh, bag of sand when you're touching it. Bag of sand? <sighs> Rob Zombie remaking Alice Wonderland? Can you, re can you imagine that? So, you know, ho 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 she, he's gonna probably make the father character, the Alice father, be all like, oh my god, I'm, I'm, gonna, go, I'm gonna skull fuck the bitch in here. <laughs> Stupid. Make it way too, you know, that, with, with one zombie, he, he makes his films way too sexual. Yeah. Anyway, okay, I, I'm, I'm losing track here. But anyway, wait, I'm going way off track. Just rambling on, like always. Anyway, anywho. Like I said before, the um, Alice Adventures in Wonderland is actually pretty faithful to the original, to the original, um, book. And... And then they made they made Alice, yeah, you know, made Alice the character herself a little older in this film in this version. Although her exact age was not really given in the book. And but anyway, in this film, however, Alice is not a child but a beautiful teenager, and um, on the verge of womanhood. Although you know. Purits, you know, a lot of I know a lot of people may not approve of this change, but like I said, um, like I said, it's pretty faithful to the original book, with with just slight some slight changes, and and it, you know, with some slight changes in my opinion, but um, <clears throat> yeah, the and uh. I know the um, I know I know it's kind of hard to make into a movie the, the the book the original book version which details the strange adventures of a young girl in a surreal dreamland it might be you know might be it might not, I, don't, I don't for some reason kind of seems it might be hard to del put into a film I believe it's possible like I said um, um this film is actually does a good job with the actually does a good job with the source material and yeah and the act, what can I say about the acting the acting is actually really good to be honest with you I, I did like the acting for this film and the, act, the acting was was pretty solid it was very solid uh, 
anyway. I swear, you know the dialogue, the dialogue may not be the best written dialogue ever, but the, the dialogue that the characters exchange with each other is actually pretty decent. But anyways, I enjoyed this film, folks. You, you, uh, I would uh, recommend this film. Yeah, yeah, I do recommend this film because it's actually pretty entertaining, very colorful. And uh, I do think it could have been a little bit better, in my opinion. It could have been a little bit better because you know I, I do I do feel like the movie had potential. And, and to be honest with you, and to be honest with you, if you ask me, which one did I like more? Which one did I like more? The Disney's version of Alice Wonderland or this live action one? To be to be honest, yeah, I mean to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, they did the best they could with a low budget and limited time, I know. But I'm I'm gonna have to say I I like the animated version more. Um but anyway, this wasn't a bad. This was not a bad attempt at all. I have to give this for version a very, a very solid rating of an eight point nine out of ten. It gets an eight point nine out of ten. Thanks for watching, and take care. See ya.